Just about to run into the street kids here and Lynn's back in Bogo and the girl comes around the corner and she hasn't seen her in 20 years and they know each other. <laughs> okay, so Lynn's got all the coins for the little bambinos who are about to swarm our car. Here they come. He's already yelled at his buddies, but they're not coming this time. That's strange. I haven't put the key in the door yet, but... Hi, hi, hi! My wife is coming soon. Got a few pesos. Got some pesos. <laughs> Oops. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> RJ. And you? Key. Keith. Keith. Lovi. What's your e gig? Spidey man. Spidey man <laughs> and Mickey Mouse. Okay, knuckle bumps. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs>here for coconut water and this is her resort here Josephine's Beach Resort and off the end here are lots of it they've been parsing out and they have one lot left for about 35,000 ish US or Canadian that's why I say ish depends on the fluctuation of the markets they plant grass and uh, yes, I am visit videoing you. Come here. Okay, there we go. John has settled in. Floor is settled in. Give you a sort of between here and that barn that's over there. There's 500 square meters. This home here is another American. And next door to that is an Australian fellow. The Australian doesn't look like he's there right now. He's probably been stuck in Australia for the last 18 months. And they have put in their own uh, beach access over there. Looks like it's falling apart. And then from the edge of this fence, concrete wall as it were, going over, walking, 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 walking some more, walking, walking, walking. probably about 20 paces and right about here somewhere in here yeah there it is and just in the shadow there's the marker it's a concrete marker so then it goes all the way back to those banana trees 500 square meters the road is raised and this is what we're kind of looking at here. What's that? That is a nice place here. Yeah, yeah, big time.
You can see how it undercuts the beach. So that's the level of storming that's happened over the millennia. Okay, so we're at lot number two in Danbantayan. This is actually in the sitio of Danbantayan. And John is pacing off here. It's a 250 meter lot. Yeah, but, but because of the usage, right? Yeah. So what we're looking at here is, we figured about 20 wide, John? 17, 18, yeah, now with that. Yeah, yeah so road frontage probably 18 to 20 paces. You know, and we're pacing up roughly a meter. Um, a lot of the property goes down to that concrete down there. And the black rock is sort of constant high tide <laughs> splashing area. And that's typical, right? If we look over at that concrete wall on that, that house, that would be your high water mark consistency with waves. Um, and then the grass and the browner looking rock. But this is what we'd have to deal with. Look at that mess, eh? Um, anyway, but the house would sit back, clean up the front. And there's the Daggett. There's the Daggett. And there's John trying to figure out how to get through. But as we learned from one other lo location, the previous one, which was the 500 square meters with, you know, not easy access, we're, like we're walking quite easily down to the water. Uh, you just get some guys in, you start picking up those stones, move them out, move them out, move them out, and make it low, and it will start to fill up with sand. And that's what they've done at that other lot. We found that af out after recording. So for us, it would be, you know, fill in some soft dirt here, just above the high tide splash zone. Get what they call the turtle grass down. Very tight weave grass. Pop some chairs down there, whatever. Maybe a, put a hut in or something. But up on top here, if the house were to start about here, which the other one does, we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, comfortably nine, maybe ten paces, so um, ten meters back from the property line. And uh, you could put yourself in a fairly wide little house here with the more solid land over on this side for the garage. Okay, there we go. Lot number two, Dan Bantayan. And the sun sets on our final day in Cebu. And as mentioned in the other video, we've kind of locked in on a piece of property. We're going to show you each one of the properties and then you guys can decide which one we chose might be a little bit surprised, or maybe not. One of my favorite songs was a Clint Eastwood and Lee Marvin. I was born under a wandering star. <laughs>